Is that a piece of metal? And I was trying to lift it, and you can see the results. Okay, a good afternoon to you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Trans Engineering. And uh, I know people who are not from the railway, they are saying, what's in a piece of metal? This is what keeps the railways going. It's the first ever bogey that's been designed by Africans for standard gauge uh, applications. Uh, all along we've been having a bogey that we use in narrow gauge, which is generally the, the railways we have in South Africa and a big part of Africa. And for the last three years we've been working on this product and now we get it. And just a bit about Transnet. Transnet uh, has got uh, five divisions starting with the National Ports Authority, which is a division that provides the landlord services in all our ports. It's a sister division that uh, looks after our all our ports, provide towage and marine services. Then there's Port Terminal, which is a division within Transnet that moves cargo within the port. They operate, operate in all our eight ports in South Africa. Then we've got Transnet Trade Rail, which is a, a division in Transnet which is the one responsible for the movement of cargo by rail. It currently manages all the rail facilities together with the rolling stock across the network in South Africa. And then last, uh, and then there is a pipe, Transnet Pipelines, which is the division of Transnet that manages the pipelines that move uh, fuel from the uh, harbors right across uh, South Africa. The longest pipeline is a pipeline that moves from uh, Devon all the way to Johannesburg. Let me make sure that uh, all the vehicles that join us back are kept wet. Last but not least, the, ladies and gentlemen, it's our engineering division in Transnet, which is the division that makes most of the products that you've been seeing over the years. It's the only manufacturing division in Transnet. Uh, we've got five, four operating divisions and one manufacturing division, which is Transnet engineering, some call it Transnet Advanced Manufacturing. In terms of what we have, we are a fully fledged original equipment manufacturer. We've got our own products when it comes to locomotives, when it comes to wagons, which we've been doing for many years. And in the last four or five years, we've introduced a line where we manufacture our own IP when it comes to passenger coaches. We've got our own teams that research, design, manufacture, convert, do assembly of various components that we manufacture. As you may be aware, a few years ago, two years ago to be precise, we launched our first African locomotive, which is TAG, which was eventually, eventually uh, unveiled by the President of the Republic last year in April. We also have uh, various uh, systems where in the age of the Internet of Things, the, the age of the smartphones, the uh, 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 iPads, and, and so on. We've invested heavily in terms of technology for all the fleets of locomotives that we are, we are maintaining and looking after for various of our customers. We have a system that can allows us to be a big brother sitting in Pretoria that you can look at all the fleets that we maintain across the continent. We use a system called uh, IRIS, which is a system that allows us to smartly uh, monitor the condition and do fault finding remotely for the various, various uh, rolling stock that we, we, we manage. We also have capabilities to do advanced data analytics and we also uh, design uh, suburban passenger coaches. As you may have seen, we're hoping that uh, uh, our colleagues from Therapin will allow us to bring some of the products that you manufacture, uh, like the passenger coaches that you have here next year. In terms of our R&D capabilities, which is the teams that uh, are behind the designs that you continue to see, uh, when it comes to TAD, TAD is currently using our own uh, control system, which is the brains of a locomotive. It's been defined by our, our internal R&D team. For this year, we are showcasing the capabilities of our mechanical R&D teams, which are the teams that uh, designed the bogey that you see in front of us, which will continue to use across the continent. They do 
brings dynamic advanced materials, additive uh, manufacturing, and then also power conversion. This is a fully flat bogey. It's ready for various applications. We'll be sending it to, to various railways across the continent for the initial test by operators so that you can get the results in the next 18 months. And in terms of our capabilities, we also have uh, what we to call machine intelligence. And as I said, we use lots of our data in line with our Internet of Things to make sure that the data we have, we use it to make decisions and develop systems which we use to manage the railways. We have our own control system, as I said, which is a system that is currently powering TAN. All the systems that we have on TAN are uh, directed by the control system that is developed by our in-house engineers. And then uh, we are looking at solutions to come up to, to, to manage a lot of energy that gets, that, gets, uh, uh, that comes from our various uh, uh, operations. Whether it's locomotives or potenting equipment, there is lots of energy that comes from those applications and we are looking at ways to make sure that we store that energy and use it as we need. Uh, we also have data platforms and the science in terms of the various systems that we have as well as, as we generate lots of data and that data is not data that is lost. So every time you see a train moving, every time you see a, a container being moved in the port, every time you see a pipeline moving a, a fuel, every time you see uh, some, uh, something moving in the port, that data we store, the, we store it and we use it for various of our applications and to further enhance some of the products we have and, and, and and generate new applications for various of our operations in France. Ladies and gentlemen, and a lot of you who've been asking yourselves, what is in the metal? As you can see, we've got a, a car carrier there, and we are, we are showing you the, 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 the red lines there are demonstrating where this component goes. It's one of the most critical components in a, a locomotive or a, a passenger coach or even a wagon. Those who have heard about derailments, derailments because, happens because something has gone wrong here. So a lot of railways are go, keep going because they've got bogies. And the bogie is a very important piece of metal in the railway. It's as important as a, a tire or a wheel on a vehicle. Those who have had a tire burst in a vehicle doing 140 kilometers an hour will tell you a story. Similarly, in the railways, this is a very important part of, of, of the railways, whether you're talking about a, a passenger wagon or a coach, and as I said, we've been investing time and effort to make sure that as Africans, since we've got many, many railways in Africa who have uh, deployed standard gauge fleets, uh, uh, we said we needed to have a product for them too. In terms of this uh, uh, bogey that we are seeing today, uh, it, it's been designed and developed by our own engineers, uh, as I said, for standard gauge uh, applications. It's a fabricated uh, design, meaning that it can be manufactured in any workshop in Africa without the need of a foundry. I know my colleagues uh, who own foundries who are close to me are looking at me uh, with me the eyes. I'm sorry for that, but we have to do it. We own 100% of the IP on this bogey. It's our own bogey. It can be manufactured anywhere in the world. The one thing we'll make sure that we keep very close to our hands is the IP, because the IP allows us to do a lot of things. We aim to offer a complete package in terms of the wagons, of the TE wagons and bogies. And we are aligning with our vision of becoming an advanced manufacturer, not only in South Africa, but for the rest of Africa and beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, in terms of this bogie, it's easily maintainable, would optimize through the weight, except that it's damaged by foot a bit, but you try to optimize on the weight and it it's AR, AR and EN standard compliant. Uh, it's improved reliability and performance, and it's designed for our African conditions. And last but not least, it's a low cost ownership. Uh, in terms of on, uh, maintenance, we've designed it so that it's easy to maintain, that we keep the cost of maintenance as low as possible. These are the specifications of this bogey. Uh, we'll keep them rolling throughout the day so that those of you are interested can look. I know that there are friends of mine from that part of the world who want to see what they copy from this. We welcome them. 
and then this is what it is. This is also the place, it's going to change both this and judgment. And uh, it's all for, for you to have a look at, you can ask questions and interact with the rest of us. I thank you.